Bonjour classe! Bienvenue à une autre vidéo pour la classe de français. Ça va bien? On commence! So, welcome to our next video and our next class. As I mentioned when we had our Zoom meetings earlier this week, we're going to be taking it kind of slow for the first few weeks of French. We're just gonna get our bearings with all of this online learning and also refreshing our really rusty French because I don't know about you guys, but even I'm feeling the, the pinch of not having been able to speak French with my students for many months. So we're gonna take it nice and slow. Um, if you're in French one, this is all brand new stuff. If you're in any of my other classes, you probably recognize a good deal of this vocabulary but everyone's doing the same vocabulary this week because we all need to know how to communicate in French for online learning. And some of it is still basic. It's the same stuff we've always done. Hello and goodbye, please and thank you. Uh, things that I say to you, things that I tell you to do. I did add a special section to our Phrases for Survival for this year, which is remote meetings. What are some things you can say when we're in our Zoom meetings together and make sure that you're using the French language as much as possible? So what I'm going to do is go over the pronunciation of these words and also give you the English definition. You can follow along with your vocabulary sheet. I've posted it to Google Classroom. If you have accessibility to a printer, print it off and write in the English words next to the French. If you don't, that's okay too. You can just have it up on your screen and you can make yourself flashcards or make yourself a study sheet just on a plain separate piece of paper. So either way, it's gonna work. But make sure you know what each of these words and phrases mean because one of our classes coming up, we're gonna have a quiz. Yay, the first quiz of the year. Let's get to it. Hello and goodbye. Répétez après moi. That means repeat after me. If you're at home in your room and nobody's around, or you can just repeat it under your breath so you can practice the pronunciation. Listen carefully to how I say it and repeat after me. Bonjour. Salut. Ça va? Au revoir. À demain. Bon weekend. All right. Bonjour, of course, means hello, and so does salut. Ça va is just a quick way to ask, how's it going? Au revoir means goodbye. À demain means see you tomorrow. And bon weekend means have a great weekend. Let's move down now to please and thank you. Répétez après moi. S'il vous plaît. Merci. Merci beaucoup. Oui. No. Can you figure those out? Pretty simple stuff. S'il vous plaît means please. Merci means thanks. Merci beaucoup means thanks a lot. Oui is yes and non is no. Pay attention to that pronunciation though. It's not no like we would say it in English. It's non. Hon, hon, hon. Get that French nasal sound going with your pronunciation. Oui and no. Très bien. I'm going to bump on over now to the en ligne remote meetings box. These are things you can say when we log on to our Zoom meetings and we're getting ready to start class. So if you're here, of course, you're going to say bonjour, madame, bonjour, class. And you can also say je suis ici. I'm here. Je suis ici. On m'entend? On m'entend? Can y'all hear me? Can people hear me? Je ne vois pas. Je ne vois pas. I can't see. If you can't see the screen or what's supposed to be happening in class. Je n'ai pas de vidéo. Je n'ai pas de vidéo. Some of you didn't have cameras that worked today, so you gave me little thumbs up emojis and things like that. So if you're not having video, if you don't have a camera, that's what you'd say. Je n'ai pas de vidéo. And finally, je vais taper dans le chat. Je vais taper dans le chat. That means I'm going to type it in the chat. And notice how they spell the word chat, T-C-H-A-T. 
because in French, the C-H-A-T by itself, some of you know this, is the word cha. It means cat. So they've taken our English word chat. It's totally an English word. And they Frenchified it by putting that little T in front of the C so that you have to pronounce it with the T. Ch chat. Je vais taper dans le chat. Fun stuff. I love how languages do that. Next, what the teacher says. Once we get rolling with a little more French and a little more confidence, I am going to start speaking to you in French a little bit more in class. So it might be time when we get our textbooks finally. That day will come. I'll ask you to take out your books. Sortez vos livres. Or open your books. Ouvrez vos livres. Are you still repeating after me? I forgot to say it this time, but make sure you're still practicing. When I say the phrase, say it back so you get good practice. Regardez le document. Regardez la page. Regardez le document means look at the document or regardez la page, look at the page. So that might be where I'm having you look at something you've printed off or something that is in Google Classroom. And did you hear how I said the word regarder? R -r -r -r. The French R is in your throat. It's not one of those trilled R's like they have in Spanish or Italian. In fact, you guys, I can't even do the trilled R. It is my life's shame. I think both my children can, my husband definitely can because he teaches Spanish. And here I am out here just going blah, 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 when I try to do the trilled Spanish R. So it's a good thing I'm a French teacher, right? Maybe it's one of the reasons I became a French teacher. Regardez, regardez. Practice that one at home. Sortez vos cahiers. So you remember from up above, sortez, that word means take it out. Um, so sortez vos cahiers means take out your notebooks. There will be times where you'll need paper in class, so you'll want to take out your notebooks. Prenez un crayon. Prenez un stylo. Prenez, you're hearing those French R's. Prenez means get or take, sort, similar to sortez, in fact. So get a pencil, get a pen. Prenez du papier, get some paper. Écoutez means listen, et répétez means repeat. We've already done that together. All right, make sure you're getting the English words filled in for that very important vocabulary. You guys, there are a few more things we're going to work on this week, and these will also be on your quiz. So I'd like to start over here with the vowel sounds. And even if you're in my French 4 or French 5 class, you guys know you need to work on your pronunciation, right? The pronunciation starts with the vowels. French have pure vowels. The French have the A, E, I, O, U. So every time you see the letter A in French, it's going to be an A sound. When you see the letter E by itself, I should say, there are, of course, always exceptions. But the letter E by itself is an U sound. The letter I by itself actually makes an E sound. So that can be confusing for those of us who speak English. It's actually E because this one is U. The letter O is always O. And it's open and sort of oh, like you're surprised. You can't just say oh in French. It has to be oh. So really make your mouth change shape to pronounce these vowels effectively. And then the letter U is U. That's a sound we don't really have in English. It's kind of nasal. It's kind of up in there a little strangely. So a good piece of advice to help you pronounce that U sound because it appears in many, many French words. Um, say the sound E inside your mouth, but then make your lips like a Cheerio. E, E. There you go. E. Really listen for that and practice that. The more you move your mouth up and down and pursed lips and wide mouth, the better you'll speak French. They really move their mouths a lot more. Americans are kind of like this. We don't say very much. But the French are always moving. Ça, c'est pourquoi la langue est très, très belle, n'est-ce pas? 
Now, there are some other vowel combination sounds that might throw you off. For example, the O-I, when you see it together, it's not oi, it's wa. It's found in words like moi, toi, toi, which is the number three, foi. So practice recognizing that so that you don't accidentally say trois instead of trois for the number three. And then the OU together makes an OO sound. That was one we were missing up here because remember the letter U is that U, it's nasal. But here's the pure OO, just a cheerio mouth, OO, like that. And that's OU together, as in the words NU, VU, OO, and OO. Two different words. The last thing I want to talk about today are the accents. We don't have accents in English. I know, right? If you ever see an accent on an English word, it's been borrowed from another language. But the French use accents to make changes to the vowel sounds. So remember I said vowel sounds are pure? They are, except for the exceptions. You're going to find a lot of that as you continue to learn French. So the exceptions are these accents. The accent that goes up and to the right is the accent aigu. The accent that goes down and to the left is the accent grave. When they come together in a little point, it's called a circumflex. When it's two dots, it's a tréma. And the little squiggly underneath the letter C, you can barely see it right there, is called the cédille. These accents actually will change the sound of a word or change the sound of a letter. For example, with the accent aigu, when it's going up and to the right over the letter E, it makes it an A sound. So here, if you just look at the letter E by itself, it's pronounced U. But when you see it with an accent aigu, it makes an A sound. As in the word écouter. There's our word, écouter. The accent grave, does kind of the opposite. Instead of an A sound, it's an E sound, as in the word jet, wet, set, you bet, all set. It's found in the word très, like très bien. And a lot of people get it mixed up because they think it's très bien, but it's not très, it's très, très bien. And you'll see that word come up in other French words as we continue to learn. The circumflex does not really change the sound. But the circumflex means something. The circumflex means there used to be an S back in the old days in French. So you can take that knowledge and if you see a word with a circumflex, just put an S there and see what you get. A famous one is the word hotel. The French word hotel has a, a circumflex. And if you put an S there, it looks like the word hostel. And if you've heard of like a youth hostel or a place where people can stay, oh, it's the same as our word hotel. Trema, the two dots, actually makes the two vowels sound separately. It's found in the word Noel, the word for Christmas. And finally, the cédille changes the letter C into a soft C. It's in the word Francais, because that C doesn't make a k, -k sound in the word Francais. It has a cédille to make it a soft C. You guys, we're going to do a lot more practice with this in our Zoom meeting coming up. Um, but for now, I'm going to leave you with this little cheer to help you remember the accents. And I don't know how this is gonna translate on the screen, so I really hope it doesn't look backwards. If it does, we'll have to fix it in class. But for now, up and to the right is a gu, grave, circumflex, trema, trema, cédille, cédille. Do the cheer with me. Un, deux, trois, a gu, grave. Circumflex, trema, trema, cédille, cédille. All right, you guys, that's it for today. I hope to see you in our Zoom meetings coming up. Whatever class you're in, we'll just go over more of this and we'll continue to parler français. Thanks for watching. A bientôt. Au revoir.